Yo, what is good, my anime pretty for what is good? Well, the trigger, man. I really know the shows that I love, but even though I love them, this was kind of rough to see, like, all this explanation being thrown out there when they're in battle, when they could just show us the battle in general to explain more or less what we are looking slash expecting to see. But with that being said, it was pretty cool to see Chica actually living up to her potential, shooting this shot that instantly gave people a good notification that she shouldn't be trifled with, and that as soon as she shoots, every single person... <laughs> That's a pretty good idea of where she's at. Um, another thing that makes people happy about that is not having to worry about your whole entire squad being destroyed in one shot. <laughs> so hopefully they can, you know, stay out of her range, but I highly doubt it. If they are to defeat the people that are by them, I can easily see a easy push. Um to killing the rest of these people. This could be the ultimate stomping by our team, or it could be the moment where they get just enough points and maybe we watch other people kind of t steal the show at the end of the day because they have done so much since they have been trying to get to the away squad that I wouldn't be surprised if they need to still understand yes you guys have talent yes you have ridiculous uh, skill and stuff but these people have so much experience and so much ideas of what to do in certain situations and they're not fighting black triggers which really do change the outcome of battles um, that is where things kind of meet ahead for me is are they going to let these guys absolutely stomp through the top-ranked people? Or is it going to be one of these moments where we finally get to see, you know, uh, kind of them get put in their place? Because we're not... That's not a surprising thing for them to do. They've already done this already. So for them to do it again, I would not be entirely shocked. I feel like they should get enough points to become on the way team. Just, you know, animation or anime storyline type of deal but to be able to beat all the high ranks maybe not so much uh but yeah let's talk about the best part of this episode which was our new ace fighting against like three to five people who are all just trying to get a piece of him before he initially can try to escape and wind up back with his team giving them one of the most powerful chances to take out all of these fools Look at everybody that attacked him, and now imagine if they did that while our teammates were near to actually help him, right? Like, they would have been blasted, they would have been stabbed, or they would have been caught off guard. So, to think that he's capable of doing this by himself uh, kind of gives you another idea of how ridiculously talented one person is that joined us compared to just our two teammates, Chica and uh, the, uh, the guy with the glasses can do compared to him, right? Like, Chica can shoot and blow up a whole bunch of stuff, but as of lately, she couldn't even attack with those bullets. That's making her even weaker than uh, our main guy with the glasses. But now that she can attack and all that, she becomes, like, almost... She's a tough running for second place right past... Uh, the new ace or Kuga, right? Like, <laughs> that's just how it is. I, I kind of don't put anyone over my white hair guy just because he's such a savage. Like, he destroyed the guy who taught this guy that we're, that's on our team how to fight. Like, he destroyed his teacher, killed him. So, that just goes to show you. But, to be fair, he still had his best buddy that could give him a ridiculous amount of information, give him ideas of what type of techniques he should be using. All that different stuff uh, was being utilized against the old man now that he doesn't have it. Would he been able to do the same thing? I honestly don't think so. 
But we gotta remember he did go all the way practically naked and then put all of his force into one attack, breaking through the old man's defense and destroying him without even wearing the black trigger anymore, tricking him and having another ace up his sleeve. Actually, he let I think he let this black trigger go so it could protect the guy with the glasses because Chica was a cube and that's how he ends up getting taken is he wants to be thrown in their spaceship to be able to sabotage them to teleport sooner than they actually should have. I hope he's still alive and I hope we get to meet up with that guy again uh, because that seems like one of the most saddest ongoing stories that we have no information about until we finally enter the way team and go to the place where I think he's going to be at. So that should be pretty awesome. I hope y'all are having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I will definitely be talking to you as soon as possible. Sorry for the late video. But please do like and subscribe because I guess that's a thing even for the big uh, subscribers. Sorry, big YouTubers that have subscribers need to do now just to get on to a place where your video gets noticed. Not even just for my people, but for everybody out there to see it. I need likes and subscriptions. So please then thank you. Take care, everybody. Let me know what you're thinking about this show. I'm telling you, World Trigger has some of the best side characters, and all of them are proving their point right now. Even the ace that we just got to our team is considered a side character, in my opinion. He's recently added into the third season, and now he has done more cool stuff than even the main guy with the glasses. So just take that as you will. He has been here for every single episode. <laughs> and yeah, he's still getting flexed on by new people every single time they show up. But yeah, that being said, take care, everybody. I really do appreciate everything. And peace.